In the previous slides, we have seen how to represent the vectors in Cartesian coordinates or rectangular coordinates. However, in some problems, uh, it would be more suitable to represent the vector values or the vector quantities in cylindrical coordinates. Uh, for example, in the case of cylindrical guides, in the case of uh, any problem with cylindrical symmetry, it would be more appropriate to use cylindrical coordinates. Uh, cylindrical coordinates uh, are represented in uh, three orthogonal coordinates. Uh, the direction of rho, which is coming uh, from the z direction better to the xy direction and the phi direction which is normal to the row and the z direction effectively the z direction is common between the cartesian and cylindrical coordinates so the z direction here is the same now assuming that this is a bar of the surface of a cylinder of a radius rho one so the point B here it can be represented as the value of rho 1, which is the radius of the cylinder or the surface of the cylinder, and the angle phi 1, which is the angle from the x axis, and the value of the z. So any point in cylindrical coordinates is represented in terms of rho, phi, and z. We can say that uh, the surface or the outer surface of the cylinder it can be represented as a constant rho value. And we can represent the top surface of the cylinder or the bottom surface of the cylinder as constant z surface and we can represent the intersection plane with a constant phi is a constant phi plane so these are the different representations for the constant planes in, in cylindrical coordinates now, if you are talking about incremental part around a point in a cylindrical coordinates, we are moving delta rho in the rho direction, delta z in the z direction, and we are moving rho delta phi, not delta phi, rho delta phi in the phi direction. So effectively, the length of the arc here is not delta phi, it is the radius multiplied by the angle delta phi. And delta phi here in radian, not in degrees so if delta phi is extending from 0 to 2 pi we are talking about the total circumference of a complete circle okay so take care delta phi here in radian not in degrees now if we are looking about this small cube we have six surfaces so the surfaces we have we have a surface delta z multiplied by rho delta phi rho delta phi delta z this is a surface another surface here is delta rho multiplied by rho delta phi so rho delta rho delta phi this is the surface of the top now the surface on the side is delta rho multiplied by delta z delta rho multiplied by delta z similar to these three faces we have other three faces behind it if we are talking about the volume of this incremental part we are talking about uh, the multiplication of each lenses so it is rho d phi multiplied by d rho multiplied by dz which is represented as rho d rho d phi dz so this is the incremental volume in cylindrical coordinates now what is the relation between the cartesian coordinates and the cylindrical coordinates 
if we are assuming that we have a point P which is represented by rho phi and z we can analyze this rho into x component and y component so the x component in this case would be rho cosine phi and the y component in this case would be rho sine phi so effectively the x value of the cylindrical coordinates equals rho cosine phi and the y value is rho sine phi and the z is the z that if we are going from cylindrical to Cartesian if I'm going in the reverse way from uh, the Cartesian to cylindrical if I'm going from Cartesian to cylinder so rho is actually the square root of x squared plus y squared and rho is, u is always greater than or equal to 0 x can be negative or positive but rho it is a must to be positive okay and the angle phi is 10 minus 1 y over x and we should take the proper uh, quarter in determining the value of y over x so if both y and x are positive so it is in the first uh, quarter if y and x both of them are negative so it is in the third quarter if y is negative and x is positive it is in the fourth quarter if x is negative and y is positive it is in the second quarter all right so please take care of finding out the angle phi which quarter is the appropriate for your purpose finally if i'm moving from uh, cartesian to cylindrical the z is the same as the z okay so z equals z this if i'm talking about the value of the position of a point what will be if i'm talking about the direction of the vector if i'm talking about the direction of the vector here the vector of a rho the unit vector in rho direction this unit vector can be analyzed into x component and y component such that the x component would be a rho cosine phi so this is the x component so the x component would be a rho cosine phi and the y component is a rho sine phi a y component is a rho sine phi and the rho component it doesn't have any component in this direction so the z component from the rho component is zero similarly we can find out the phi component can be analyzed into x component and y component and in this case the x component would be the negative sine phi multiplied by a phi and the y component would be cosine phi a phi should be not that has been reversed and we have negative sign in the x here and there is no component of the phi component in z direction and finally the z component is a z component so by using this table if i have a vector which is represented in rho phi and z component and i want to find out it in x and y and z component i convert the rho in x component and y component the phi in x component and y component and the z component Similarly, I can use the same table if I'm talking about a vector in x, y, z and I want to convert it into rho and phi and z components. So in this case, ax would be converted cosine phi in rho direction and minus sine phi in phi direction and ay would be converted sine phi in rho direction and cosine phi in phi direction and the z direction is the same as the z direction. As an example for this, assume that it is required to transform the vector b, which equals y in x direction minus x in a y direction plus z in z direction. Here we have a vector field component which is, depends on the x y z and have x component y component z component. So the x component is a function which is y. And the y component is a function which is minus x, and the z component is a function which is positive x. Now it is required to convert it to uh, cylindrical coordinates. In this case, we are going to convert the y as rho sine phi. 
and x as rho cosine phi and z as z and then we are going to convert ax as a rho cosine phi plus or minus a phi sine phi and ay as a rho sine phi plus a phi cosine phi so going out these steps we say that b in the row direction would be b dot a row b dot a row means that all these values dot a row x dot row cosine phi a x dot a row cosine phi and a y dot a row would be minus sine phi So the row component would be y cosine phi minus x sine phi. Now y is rho sine phi and x is rho cosine phi. So this rho sine phi cosine phi minus rho cosine phi sine phi. So this is zero. So the row component in this case is zero. The phi component is b dot a phi now b dot a phi a x dot a phi a x dot a phi minus sine phi minus x a y dot a phi a y dot a phi cosine phi now we have y can be replaced by rho sine phi and x can be replaced by rho cosine phi so this would be minus rho sine square phi minus rho cosine square phi which equals minus rho so the phi component of b is minus rho finally the z component is the same z component so the transformation of the vector b in the cylindrical coordinates would be the rho component zero the phi component minus rho in direction phi plus the z component z in the z direction okay all right so we have complete cylindrical coordinates in the following video we will see the spherical coordinates all right